my house. And so it's like, I'm gonna do vocals today in my house. This is crazy. Turned out that like everybody needed a good cry as well as us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, this is such a blast. This is a real, real damn blast. In country music, it's like, this guy did this, then this woman did this, yeah. then they met, and their kid was me. Totally, like, yeah, yeah. And like, I was that man yeah, that I've been talking about. Yeah, I was that kid, <laughs> like, but I, which is the best. It's I like, you, you listen this. to country songs and you're just totally. like, shivers everywhere. My whole, I was too afraid to suggest it, but I, I just, when I sent it to Aaron, I was like, this is a, hopefully a duet. We. I don't know who with, <laughs> who would it be with? Who do you think would be good with this? And Aaron was like, I think Justin would love this. And you're like, and really? Like, okay, that could be interesting. I it couldn't was... say it. I couldn't say really? it. Is that really my... what happened? No, I couldn't say it with my with words because if he if I would have said it and he would have gone to Justin and Justin would have said no, it would have hurt too much. Somebody could be your best friend and your companion and your most trusted person in your life and then they could go and become your worst enemy who knows how to hurt you because they were once your tr most trusted person the worst. having that person that they swore to be with forever then become the person that they spend most of their time talking shit about yeah. it kind of occurred to me that in all of the superhero stories the the hero's greatest nemesis is the villain that used to be his best friend turning into your tea. in the middle of a dance floor because they reflect light they are broken a million times and that's what makes them so shiny we have people like that in society too they hang there and every time they break it entertains us yeah and it was a metaphor for celebrity but it's also a metaphor for so many people who have to feel like I mean, everybody has feels like they have to be on for certain people for you have to be different versions of yourself for different people, different versions at work, different versions around friends, different versions of yourself around different friends, um, different version of yourself around family, around, yeah. you know, you just, everybody has to be duplicitous um, or, or feels that they have to, in some ways, be duplicitous. That... Like, when did I stop being so outraged that I would throw myself on the floor and throw the cereal at my mom? <laughs> Maya takes your man is actually a total myth because that's not usually the case at all. Like, everybody has feelings and wants to be seen and loved. And just like Augustine, that's all she wanted. That's why I love. <laughs> No one pats them on the back every day, but every day they are actively fighting something. Mm. But there are so many days that nobody gives them credit for that. Yeah. And so how often must somebody who's in that sort of internal struggle must want to say to everyone in the room, you have no idea how close I am to going back to a dark place, or you yeah. have no idea. No idea. It's because it tells them something that they could read in a tabloid. Interesting. So if you can always stop. Every step you're taking, you're taking one step closer to where you're supposed to be, you know, guided by this little like invisible string. I remember when you think. <laughs> I remembered I wrote it right after I sent uh, an ex a baby gift. <laughs> like and I was just like, man, life is great. Just and I just remembered thinking like this is this is a full signifier that life is great. You know, for centuries, we've been just expected to absorb male behavior silently, right? Silent absorption of whatever any guy decides yeah. to do in state now respond to bad male behavior or somebody just doing something that was absolutely out of line and we respond. That response is treated like the offense itself.
of how things were going wrong mm. and nothing I did stopped it. And I felt like I had just been pushed out of a plane and was like scratching at the air on the way down. And like, I felt like just like the universe is just doing its thing. It's just dismantling my mm. life and there's nothing I can do.